Hey guys, my name is... Hi, I think you can probably hear me a bit better now. My name is Dave and welcome to another video. So recently, uh, Pink Fox and I did an introduction to a small series where we're talking about the seven deadly sins. Well, today I wanted to start that up with the a first-hand episode of the first of the seven, Lust. Or at least the first that I comes to my mind, and here comes Pink Fox. <laughs> people have been very lustful of me in the past, and I did not appreciate it. Anyway, I wasn't going to use personal experience as things. Not Dang. quite, at least. Anyways, thanks for the input. That was random. I'm not. Even, I wasn't expecting that at all. But anyway, um, so lust is actually, it is the most common. That actually, what she did just now did kind of make it, it emphasize on what I was going to say anyway. Lust of the seven deadly sins is the most common to happen. If not, then it's very close. It's the one I hear about the most. Um, a good example of this comes from, actually, recently I've been playing a game called Persona 5, which I noticed within the game... The bosses in it, each one represents one of the seven deadly sins. Um, the first one is the one I'm going to be referencing. Uh, his name is Kamashita, and he is very lustful in a sense where... This is where it gets a little bit confusing. Lust is not just sex, but it can also be power. It can be... It's connected to almost every single sin for the sense that lust is a, a very, very dark, really bad desire. Um, but it's very well known for the sexual kind, and quite frankly, yeah, power. Lust has a tendency to cause many mental issues. When you think about it, a lot of, not disorders, but a lot of mental problems come from being very lustful, and to the point that it goes kind of out of control. Um... Is this always the person's fault? Actually, no. Uh, the reason for this is because of how the person is raised, for one, and in a, because of now the reason I say this is because of the fact that it has to do with the eight stages of psychosocial de um, development. If you mess with that at all, those who get ha get that part that those particular stages messed with or get the negative side of it rather than the positive side of it, those are the ones who usually step and actually tamper with these seven sins, especially lust. Um, most of the time, I've noticed, those who actually get don't end up with the better side of those eight stages of psychosocial development, they're the ones who usually end up having to fend for themselves, and a lot, not all, but a lot of people who end up fending for themselves end up in a very lustful state. Now, it always starts with desirable. And some people, actually it's like 50% of people who end up in that lustful state, they worm their way out of it. It's not a big deal. However, that's not everyone. Most people, yes, but not everyone. Anyways, I, I don't know. I, this is kind of, these are kind of my thoughts on the first of the seven deadly sins. Quite short, um, but it is the case. Anyway, going to leave this here. Want to check out the series for the rest of them or look forward to the rest of them? Links here. Anything that you might like, try this one over here. Meantime, going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. And we hope to see you in another. Bye-bye.